Welcome to episode 2 of buying and building a complete Amazon streaming setup. This time I bought a pre-built gaming and streaming PC. And we have a theme today because all of this gear was on the best selling list on Amazon. In the previous episode I did buy an Amazon desk, we built it together and turns out it was a piece of crap. This is an electric standing desk from Ikea, now it's not a cheap one. I will link this desk in the description, I will also link some cheaper options. I barely opened this PC here and I can already smell the chemicals. I'm not really sure how safe this is for your health. There's actually a warning sign on the side. This product can expose you to certain chemicals which are known to the states of California to cause cancer or birth defects or other reproductive harm. What, there is a keyboard inside? You're kidding me, I bought a keyboard for this video. I assume that since it came with a keyboard, this is gonna be a mouse. And yes it is. Now this feels like it's gonna be a decent mouse. Let's not get our hopes up, they also give you two antennas. Now one thing I can definitely say is that this is a heavy PC. We immediately get greeted with a big stop sign. Please follow the instructions in your quick start guide before plugging in your new PC. Now that's not something we're gonna do. Now, I think we'll need a screwdriver to open. Ooh, it opens like this. I'm gonna be honest, that's kind of neat. So it just closes magnetically. Now there is some dust on the GPU. I've also never seen this type of case. Do they add real GPUs to these? Or are these GPUs fake? I see only one stick of RAM in here. The CPU cooler is from Cooler Master. It seems like everything is connected correctly. I'm gonna open the panel on the back to see how the cable management is. We are gonna need a screwdriver for that. Let's check out how it looks under the hood. Now it does look pretty decent, it's an EVGA power supply. Now again, I'm not sure if this is all legitimate stuff, but it does seem like a decent package. The GPU that's inside is an RTX 3050, so it is from Nvidia, it is great for streaming, and having a PC like this together with the 1080p monitor is gonna be perfect. In fact, I'm gonna go get it now and I will tell you why it's so perfect. Now, usually I would never buy a pre-built gaming PC, let alone feature one on the channel. But if you know the channel Gamer Nexus, these guys know every thing about PCs. They test a lot of pre-built PCs. This brand was one of the best they tested. So for that reason I thought why not give them a go. By the way I think this monitor is gonna look really pretty. Owned Pro is a free plugin for OBS Studio that will give your stream a professional look. With a single click you can install one of the five fully animated and completely free overlay packs with a bunch of scenes already set up. They also let you easily import your Twitch alerts, your streams chat and your labels. There's also a chatbot to set up with basic commands moderation, timers and giveaways, there's a countdown timer and there is 30 minutes of free epidemic sound music to test it out. With a premium account you get access to their whole library of over 400 fully animated graphic packs in any theme imaginable and if you decide to upgrade with my code TVN you can slice 50% of the price. The longer you subscribe for the cheaper it gets and together with my code that's 3 months of having all these graphics for only $5 per month. The link will be on the screen and in my description. This PC had an insane amount of positive reviews on Amazon, so I just wanted to test it. By the way, the price is $950, the CPU is a 10400F, the GPU is a 3050. Now 8GB of RAM is gonna be kind of a problem for streaming, but I absolutely wanted to test it out, since a lot of pre-builds come with this amount of RAM. So I just realized this monitor is 27 inch and 1080p, usually 24 inch is the maximum for a 1080p monitor, but this one is absolutely focused on the high refresh fresh rate. I guess if you're playing things like competitive FPS games on stream you don't really care about the pixels. So I think we just put this on here and then you can just tighten it with the screws on the back. This is a pretty beefy stand. I think the monitor will just click into it. So you shove it in from the top and then ah it clicks. This looks awesome. It looks exactly like a competitive FPS monitor. I'm gonna position it here on the left for now. By the way I bought a double monitor desk arm. I just wanted to check out the stand and to be honest we could just as well keep it because this stand looks awesome. But the desk arm I bought looked amazing and really futuristic so I wanted to check it out. The monitor stand also allows you to hide the cables pretty well with this hook. So apparently this motherboard is equipped with Wi-Fi. Now to be fair I had no idea keyboard and the mouse was gonna be included with the PC. So what I did was I bought the best selling keyboard and the best selling mouse. I think they are both wireless. Now this isn't really a keyboard I would buy for a gaming setup but it just seemed something interesting to check out and since the theme of this video was best selling products it fitted perfectly. So I still want to check it out but we're of course also going to unbox the keyboard that comes with the build and it's definitely heavier than I would have expected. It's also from Skytech Gaming and let's see how it sounds. 
The spacebar, that's pretty loud and it also feels kind of clunky and loose. Definitely a pretty trashy keyboard. However, absolutely usable and it's kind of great that it comes with a pre-built PC like that. Now, the best-selling mouse on Amazon was a wireless RGB mouse, so that part's kind of cool. However, it kind of looked like an Apple Magic Mouse. It's definitely extremely light. So before I forget, the price of this monitor was $264. So that's for 27-inch 1080p but 240 hertz. Definitely looking forward to testing that out. The price of this mouse here was ooh, $15 and it had more than 4,500 reviews. So it comes with a charging cable. It is USB-C and it also comes with a dongle to convert the USB on the other side. So you can charge it with USB-C or USB-A, I guess, the normal USB. On the back of the mouse, you can take out the USB receiver. It is definitely very compact. I'm not sure if it's charged. Looks like it isn't. No problem at all. I'm gonna charge it while unboxing the rest. Let's power on the PC because it doesn't seem like it's charging so the pc doesn't turn on that's a problem <laughs> i see why my lights turned off i guess i turned off this switch let's try to turn it on <laughs> Okay, let's turn on the PC now. Ah, there we go. Now, I'm gonna be really honest. It is a pre-built, but it doesn't really look like one. It looks like a real gaming PC. This is a closer look at the mouse. The RGB is kind of cool. But this is a closer look at the inside of the PC. Let's check out this keyboard. Now, it looks extremely normal, but I just have a feeling that it's gonna be a blast to type on. I think you can swap between Bluetooth devices. So a scenario where this could come in extremely handy is, let's say you're using an iPad to read your chat and it's positioned right here. Then you could use these yellow buttons on this keyboard to swap between your PC and your iPad for example. So if you're gaming on this screen but you quickly want to type something in your own chat for example, you just click on the text field here, you click on number two and then you can just type on your iPad, press enter, press number one again and you're back on your main monitor. So it does feel kind of weird to type on but not because of the type of buttons or switches but just because the buttons are round. I don't think I could see myself gaming on this but hey it was the best selling keyboard so I had to buy it for this build. I'll make sure that in the next Next episode, I have an awesome keyboard. Now, before we test out the 240 hertz screen and before we install the mic and the webcam and the lights, I really want to check out this. I searched on Amazon for the best selling RGB decoration and funnily enough, this huge cube is what came up. So on the bottom, you should be able to turn it on. Click here. Oh, now the problem we have here is that I have a huge light exactly on me. So let me turn off my light. You can already see it much better. Let's try another color. And uh, this is definitely the best visible. The cube would definitely look pretty sick in the background without too much lighting. And by the way, the Windows installation finished and this looks pretty sick to be honest. Now, even though it is pretty cool, I didn't expect it to be this big. Nah, I'm not gonna make the joke. And I also expected it to be more bright. I'm installing Overwatch since I think it's a pretty good game to test at 240 hertz. Now, this is a double monitor monitor arm. It looked very cool on the website and it was the best selling double monitor arm. So let's see what we're starting with. So this is kind of a preview of what it's gonna look like on the desk. So I guess all this stuff is to assemble the clamp on the bottom. So it's actually pretty simple to install this. You just put this on and then screw in the three screws. So now we can connect this on the bottom. Now this is a really handy system. So you just take this tool, you shove it on as high as you can. These bumps are making sure it stays in place and then you just tighten it. So this looks unlike any monitor arm I've ever used and I think it's time to connect the monitor to it. Let's take it off the stand and the monitor has screws on the back already so that's pretty useful so this is monitor number one this was by far the best selling mousepad on amazon so i really want to check it out oh it seems like it's a leather mousepad see that's the problem in this video with buying the best selling products most of these things are business stuff can't really see a business guy using a huge mousepad like this now i have to be honest it does feel pretty crappy oh, i wonder how much i paid for it it says leather desk pad protector it was 16 bucks let's see if we can reach 240 40 hertz. I'm gonna put the graphics on low. <laughs> oh, I gotta be honest, 240 hertz definitely feels really smooth. Now, I'm used to gaming on a 144 hertz screen, and the difference between 60 hertz and 144 is definitely much bigger than the difference between 144 and then 240 like this. However, if you are someone who plays Fortnite, Call of Duty, Overwatch, just in general FPS games that require a lot of responsiveness, I could absolutely see you benefiting from 240 hertz. I mean, 
let's be honest, if you're a gamer, even just knowing you're gaming on 240 hertz, if you're playing FPS games, that alone is half of the experience. You know you're gaming on an insane monitor. So I'm absolutely gonna use this keyboard and the mouse that were part of the PC. And it's already bad enough that we need to use a leather mouse pad. Now, this is our streaming specific stuff. I've got the number one best selling microphone on Amazon. And this one is actually amazing. The number one selling webcam. It is 720p, so that sounds pretty crappy, but I read a lot of reviews and apparently it is better than a lot of 1080p webcams. Then I've got the best selling budget microphone arm. And then this is a pretty big ring light. This is a special type of packaging. I've never seen this. Look at this. It's all around the package. Now the light does feel extremely light. No pun intended. It was the best selling light on Amazon, so I had to buy it. Now ring lights are pretty good, but together with the stand, I guess this is kind of a TikTok setup. I'm curious how high the stand is. So it unfolds pretty easily. Two, three, four. That's pretty high. So since I'm six foot two, this is about six foot. <laughs> I wish I was six foot two. Let's see if it's bright enough to use it as a stream light. I'm gonna plug this in and let's see how bright this is. Oh, it's touch buttons on the front. Oh, let's see if we can get it more bright. We can't. Now that's not that bright. Put it here above the monitor and let's install this webcam so then we can preview if the light is bright enough. Now, this is definitely a pretty small webcam, but as I said, a lot of positive reviews. Now I do have a problem here because there is something wrong with this PC. So on the back here, most of the ports are fine. However, all these ports here are kind of crooked. I'm not sure if the motherboard is bent on the inside, but this USB definitely doesn't fit. So we're gonna have to open the PC to check. I finally found the problem. These two pins here on the USB were pushed into it and they were keeping the ports and also the motherboard from moving to the outside. Okay, so I turned off all my room lights. This is the only light that's turned on. I also played around with the settings and this is the best I can get it. This quality is definitely acceptable. We can't call it high quality by any means, but if this camera was cheaper than let's say $30, then I can accept the quality. The name is the C270. It's from Logitech and the price, ooh, $19. Okay, I can accept this quality quality for $19. It is time to install the second monitor. This is the absolute best selling monitor on Amazon by far. And then we're gonna install the absolute best selling microphone on Amazon. These two are crazy popular. Both of them are on number one in their category every time I check the best selling lists. Now, if you've seen my Galaxy streaming setup video, you might remember that I shattered the monitor in that video. And that monitor was this one. So I just had to buy it again on Amazon. But this is a 24 inch monitor and it's a very basic one it's meant to be used as a second screen when streaming or if your budget is very low this is one of the cheapest 1080p monitors you can find it is a 60 hertz or 75 hertz monitor but in a streaming setup you're using your second monitor to read chat to put OBS on it to switch your scenes you don't need a special monitor for that kind of stuff now there are only two screws in this bag kind of need four of them to connect the monitor to the stand I feel like that's a packaging mistake I guess we can do it with two now they also give these type of screws and they are needed to lift up the four holes on the sides. So we'll have to do it with two screws. Maybe I can find two extra in this bag. This is from the monitor arm. I feel like these would work. So I'll connect the two on top first. So you could choose a horizontal 27 inch monitor and then a vertical 1080p one is kind of a great combo or something like this. Now with this monitor arm, if your monitor doesn't weigh enough, which is the case with this monitor, as you see, it goes up by itself. Then on the back, you can just tighten this screw and that will just make the monitor arm more stiff. I'm going to move the monitor up and see if it goes up and it just stays in the position that I put it in. This is starting to be an awesome streaming setup. Now, before we install the microphone, I would absolutely choose another webcam. I bought the webcam because it was the number one best selling and I wanted to check it out. It was the point of this episode. But in future episodes of this Amazon building series, I'm absolutely going to buy some more expensive webcams and check those out. Maybe even build some real camera setups. Now, again, this microphone is an absolute beast. It's one of those mics that you just plug in and it sounds amazing. To some mics, you need to add effects to make it sound more deep and more full like a studio mic. This one sounds great out of the box, but the price is $109. To be fair, for the quality that you're getting with this i will show an example in a bit 109 is a perfect deal so this was the best-selling microphone stand it's the inugir mic arm and the price was 
$25. And then with this mic, you can choose between using the stand, which by the way, is kind of good too. So since this is a pretty tall mic, if you're sitting in front of your PC, it's already pretty close. However, a lot of people like to use a mic arm, and I mean, it doesn't get better than that. The well-known problem with these cheaper microphone arms is that the vibrations from your desk travel through the arm to the mic, and that can completely destroy your mic sound by making a very deep, boomy sound. However, this microphone, as you can see, comes with a shock damper. These red things are elastics, and the vibrations don't really travel through the elastics to the mic. And after I plug this thing in, we can test the final result. Now, since this PC has a 3050, you can use NVENC in the settings here. As you can see here, encoder, hardware, and VENC. And that's amazing for streaming without losing almost any FPS in your game. This mic is also RGB. You can mute it, which will turn off the light. That way you know you're not being recorded. You can unmute it. And on the bottom of the mic, there's a knob to control your gain. And so you're looking at the final result of the streaming setup. As you can hear, this microphone just sounds amazing. By the way, if you want to learn to set up OBS Studio, start streaming. I have a Skillshare course. You can watch it for free. There is a link in the description that gives you one month for free. You can claim the month, watch my course, cancel it, and you won't have paid anything. So the link to that will be in my description. It's a complete OBS Studio course. It's amazing. People like it. And I've put a lot of work in it. So besides that, thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.